Hey, hey, what is up, guys? How long, eh? It's me, Drake, and I bring today another Advanced OU game, and this is a really, really awesome battle against a guy called Mike. I found him the other day in a Hamachi network, and I don't really know who's this guy, but he's gonna be a solid player. You will see why. Anyway, he asked me for a battle, so here is the game. I lead with Gengar as Mike starts with Fortress. I have a free shot here, and right off the bat, Fortress will not be scared of the possible fire punch and will set up the first layer of spikes. I could stay for another Thunderbolt, but I don't like those spikes as well, so I will send out my own Fortress to spin away them and maybe set up my own spikes. Well, in this turn my Fortress is gonna do rapid spin to get rid of those spikes as well and hoping that Mike will not bring a ghost type. And yeah, I do a successful spin and his Fortress will land another layer of spikes. So I will do the same and set up my own layers of spikes and I'm assuming that Mike has not a ghost type in his team. So this can be a certain of advantage to my side. Mm. <clears throat> uh, next up, Mike is gonna switch out Fortress and send out Tyranitar. Mm, interesting. To be honest, that's not the common switch uh, on Fortress due to the high defense stats. So probably this Titar has a fire move, or who knows, maybe Taunt. Well, Fortress is gonna get out of the way and I will send out my bird. And yeah, Tyranitar attacks with Fire Blast that does a very light hit to Swampert, only 15%. But now I don't really know if that Titar has the special set or not. So I will discover it with Protect. And Mike is gonna switch out Tyranitar, so I guess it has the Dragon Dance set with Fire Blast to deal against Skarmory and Fortress. There comes a Milotic, uh, a solid good counter to pair that is gonna make me switch it out. A status move or surf from Milotic is pretty much obvious now due to the incoming switch and unfortunately I don't really have a Pokemon to take the possible hypnosis but anyway I decide to send out my Snorlax and right off the bat Toxic is gonna happen there but it's not gonna do it because my Snorlax has immunity as the boss of Thick Fat. Well my Snorlax has the Cure Slack set but I won't reveal the entire moveset too early, so I decide to attack with Body Slam, just trying a uh, Lucky Paralyze in the incoming switch. And yeah, Milotic is gonna get out of the way, and there comes Fortress again. And gets the Paralyzed, but it doesn't care since Fortress is already a very slow pop. Now I'm pretty sure that his Fortress will spike up or spin away my spikes, who knows. And I will try to do the same too. So I sent out my own fortress and there is a very surprising double switch into Tyranitar again. Uh, well, this is not good for me. I could predict the Dragon Dance in this turn and attack with Hidden Power Steel to do the trick. But I don't wanna risk losing my fortress doing another prediction so I will send out my bird again trying to wall its attacks and Oh my god, damn, oh my god, I can't believe that. Tyranitar attacks with Hidden Power Grass and it is an obvious KO to Swampert. I feel now I'm playing very very bad against this guy and I don't really have a good counter to that Tyranitar so I sent out my Revenge Killer Doctrine hoping that the Choice Band Dead Earthquake will be enough to take Tyranitar down. So there's Earthquake and... It doesn't kill, I really can't believe that. So Tyranitar does hidden power grass again and it's a KO uh, thanks to those spikes in the table. This Tyranitar is gonna do the trick so really really good and I sent out my Gengar to take it down with Thunderbolt. Mike is outstandingly playing me so well in this match. So there's Thunderbolt and Titar goes down, finally. So 4-5 situation, but my ping is not finished yet. 
Here comes an Aerodactyl that is pretty strong now due to the absence of Swampert and believe it or not I'm gonna stay with my Gengar and I will do the gamble here hoping that Rock Slide doesn't kill, misses or doesn't flinch and my T-Bolt crits or Paradise Aerodactyl so there's Rock Slide like I said and yeah it doesn't kill, doesn't flinch, there's Thunderbolt and I get the lucky unbelievable critical hit but the Sunstar will just finish off my Gengar. Well, Mike is gonna send out Dactrio that we haven't seen yet, but I don't really know why he do that. He could send out Fortress to spin away those spikes, but anyway, I will send out my own Fortress to do rapid spin and then deal some damage with Hidden Power Steel. Maybe you are asking why I do run Hidden Power Steel instead of Hidden Power Bug or Earthquake on Fortress. Well, I'm just testing it because it can deal some damage to Gengar in the switch if it comes to block rapid spin, as I can break the 101 HP substitutes from Tyranniboa, but both things didn't happen in this match, so be patient. Well, there's rapid spin and as you see Earthquake just does a good chunk on Fortress despite the high defense stat, so now I will attack with Hidden Power Steel because I have nothing to do here and right off the bat Mike will send out his Fortress again predicting any attack or my last layer of spikes but now I won't be trapped anymore by Doctor so next up I will send out my legs and start to cure Sap. So Tyranitar and Aerodactyl are gone, but I'm wondering now who's the last poke from Mike that could be the master key for him and finish this game as soon as possible by his great gameplay. Or maybe you still have a chance with my Dragonite that can do the comeback, however my Lotique is the big deal there, so... Anyway, the battle continues and like I said I'm gonna cure up with Lax because we are we are already on late game and as you see it seems to be that Mike has not a pseudo haster and Lux is pretty strong now that can completely do the comeback so there's rapid spin and yeah Mike is gonna send out his last poke and it is a Celebi so anything can happen now but that Celebi can be dangerous now especially if it is the common version uh, yeah that's not so good but neither bad at all well my next attack is body slam and I really hope that Celeb is going to get the paralysis it doesn't care I know thanks to natural cure however Lax could attack first but there is Lich Seed so it could force me to switch out to Snorlax but that's not my intention right now because I must abuse of that plus 2 attack hoping any critical hit or paralyze but the Star War is gonna happen there by Celebi spamming recover each turn and looking for the right moment to set up Calmind as Leech Seed and Sandstorm start to kick me out and this mechanic can continue for many many turns until Lax is gonna get very low HP then Celebi can finish it off with Psychic, but if I get the crit with the max roll damage with Body Slam, it could be a huge problem for Mike, since I have not revealed my last poke, so... Following this logic, Celebi is gonna get it out of the way, and there comes Fortress that can wall my attacks the whole day. Now, I don't really know what to do here. If I switch out to Snorlax with low HP and I mispredict a switch, Dactrio can come anytime soon and finish it off with one choice banded earthquake. Or I can rest off the damage and get the explosion in the face, that is quite obvious now. But I'm gonna do the gamble here, so I decide to stay and rest off the damage just to get full health. <coughs> and luckily, Fortress will get the Parahax. Anyway, thanks to the Lich Seed, Fortress is gonna get full health so fast. And I do a very very bad prediction here. I just stayed to waste one sleeping turn because I'm pretty sure that Fortress is gonna abuse of that and put at least one layer of spikes and then blow up. But not. It does explosion that takes out a uh, 40%. But I can super that because now 
Dark Drew is going to rejoin the battlefield and like I said before to finish off my Earth Norlax with one with one Earthquake plus Leech Seed and Sandstorm. So yeah, this Dark Drew is gonna get full health thanks to the Leech Seed and well in the next turn Snorlax is gonna get down. That's all for my lags I guess. Next up I will send on my Fortress trying to set up at least one or two layers of spike as well. I don't think Mike is going to switch now due to the possible explosion because Dacro is not so valuable as Celebi or Maldati. But the Revenge Killer is gonna be an advantage on Fortress due to the stab, choice band, earthquake, but that's gonna make me do the trick with Dragonite because I will reveal it now and I will have a free turn for a Dragon Dance and only one mistake from Mike will cost him the wall battle. But like I said before, my Lotic is still there and it's a big deal for Dragonite. So Earthquake does a good chunk and as you see I'm gonna be able to land two layers of spikes so in the next turn this fortress is essentially dead. Well, 3-1 situation. And now it's time to bring out my Dragonite that has the bulky Dragon Dance version called Bulky Knight that is my own. Well, I'm pretty sure that no order uses it. But anyway, just in case, with this EV's spread, Dragonite is gonna be able to resist any non-stab ice attack less than 315 of a special attack but I think I'm that I'm not gonna do it due to the big disadvantage that, that, that I have right now so I go for the obvious dragon dance and Doctor is gonna get out of the way and there comes my nightmare that could finish the game right now it has toxic, ice beam and recover and could stall me the whole day and I am in a big trouble because I don't really know what to do right now. Maybe just attack, maybe another dragon dance or hope the critical hit. So I think that the game is already over and I will do the gamble here with another dragon dance. To be honest I feel Mike played it much better than me and surprising I can't believe that oh my god Dragonite goes for the second Dragon Dance and Maldotic does recover thinking that I would attack maybe and it's gonna be the mistake that I was waiting for. So yeah, I feel now that Dragonite can do completely the comeback due to this huge mistake from Mike. I can't support that, guys, really. I think Milotic should have attacked with Ice Beam instead of recovering off the damage since I think it cannot resist a plus 2 Earthquake from Dragonite. So now I just attack with Earthquake, let's see how much damage it does. There's Earthquake and... It does a lot, oh my god! 65% I guess, but still, it's a very very good chunk. Uh, there's Ice Beam, but it's not gonna do it. Like I said before, I have the enough EVs to resist any non stab Ice attack. And in this moment, Mike is gonna do about the legality of my Dragonite. So I'm gonna show you that it's not true. And as you will see, I'm not surpassing the uh, 500. 10 EVs and I will show you at the end of this video a nice picture that it's an information table about how much Dragonite can resist like a boss <laughs> the different non-stab ice attack from the most overused bones. Well the game is already over, Dragonite is gonna sweep but I guess the main question for this battle is the next. Why Dragonite and not Salamence? Well guys the answer is quite easy and simple because Dragonite can resist most of non-stab ice attack and I just like to use it. I must admit that Dragonite is totally outclassed by men's in many many other different situations but it has a single and very prominent weakness, ice attacks and believe it or not Dragonite can deal with it. Just in case I must say that most of the time Winning a battle doesn't depend on which pokes are you using, 
but how good can you make use of them? In other words, in your skills. Anyhow, my final words are that the battles was quite exciting. I really love to do some battles via emulator, because the animation is just awesome. I was shocked how Mike did a very good use of a defensive team like this, but that last mistake made me win the match. Unfortunately, my opponent had to leave the Hamachi Network. He had no more time to stay and he didn't tell me if he has a YouTube channel or not, but anyway, I'm gonna bring it as soon as possible. Well guys, I hope you liked this video and enjoyed the content. Let me know what do you think in the comments, please do it. And be sure to use the like button, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more close battles with very good content and stuff. Peace.